This video is sponsored by Storyblocks Video. An animated logo has a better chance of connecting emotionally with your ideal target audience by contributing to the overall story behind your brand. Through the use of colors and the sound used in the animation, an animated logo conveys the vibe of your brand instantly. It also has a better chance of keeping the viewer's attention for a longer period of time. Considering how much content we consume on a daily basis, capturing and keeping the attention of your target audience is no easy task. But with the animated logo, the problem is significantly reduced and you will be miles ahead of your competition. So today, we will be designing a very nice and glossy logo animation in After Effects without using any third-party plugins. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and without any further ado, let's get started. If you have ever been in the need for a quick video clip for a B-roll, After Effects template or motion backgrounds, then Storyblocks video is for you. I personally use Storyblocks for my YouTube videos, client projects and many other different stuff. There are times when your creative needs are compromised due to low budget. For example, let's say I am shooting a short film and my location is near Statue of Liberty and I want an aerial footage of Statue of Liberty and taking a drone shot would exceed my budget because drone shots are not that cheap. That is when Storyblocks video comes in and I can easily search for an aerial footage of the Statue of Liberty and use it in my video. Storyblocks is a subscription-based resource providing unlimited downloads of royalty-free stock footages, motion backgrounds and After Effects templates. All videos are 100% royalty-free and you can keep all the media forever. New clips are added regularly so there is always something fresh to download. Make sure to check out Storyblocks video, the link will be down in the description. Alright so here we are in After Effects, let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080, 25 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this main as this is going to be our main composition. Hit OK. Then I'm going to create one more composition for our logo where we can drag and drop in any logo that we want to use for this animation. Let's call this logo. Hit OK. Now I have my logo file right here, which is a PNG file. I'm just going to drag and drop it into the logo comp and hit S and scale down the properties of the logo just like that. 17% looks good to me. Now let's create one more composition which is going to be logo edges and this composition we will be using as a surface for our reflection. So as we move on with the tutorial you will come to know what I'm talking about. So let's call this logo ref or logo, oh, logo edge actually. Hit OK. And then we can drag and drop in our main logo composition into the logo edge comp. Let's add a fill. And by the way, I'm using the FX console. If you don't, if you don't have a FX console, you can just simply go into windows and effects and preset, and then you can type in fill right here. So I'll just type in fill and add a fill color to this, make this black. Hit OK, then hit control D to duplicate it. Oh, not the fill but the layer so hit control D to duplicate it and on the top layer I'm gonna set the fill color to white and then I want some nice edges at the edge of the logo so for that I'm gonna use a simple choker let's change the choke mat to around 5 and now you can see we have this nice edges around our circle which is basically the back layer or the layer behind the main white layer now this is very sharp at the moment so I want to make it a bit blurry so let's create a new adjustment layer call this blur and I'm gonna add fast blur on this let's increase the blurriness to around 4% and repeat edge pixels so so far so good let's create a new composition again and this is gonna be our reflection comp so I'm gonna call this reflection underscore o one cause we will be creating two reflections and after that I have a image that I will be using as a reflection so I'm just gonna drag and drop it and by the way the project file will be provided to you guys it is absolutely free you can download it from the link in the description and yep on the reflection layer I'm gonna add a U and saturation let's bring down the saturation all the way up to zero so we just get a black and white image and after that I'm gonna add a CC reptile onto this so that we can you know this increase the reflection size so I can increase expand left 
just like so so i'll just set this to around 2000 there we go let's place it into the position for now and i'm going to move it a bit to the top maybe i'll scale this up a bit so hit s and scale this up to 150 percent i'll move this a bit just like so all right let's select the layer and hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's move it to the right just like that okay so now we have a very simple animation which will be uh, making a reflection on our logo now let's select the logo composition that is the reflection one hit control d and now we have the reflection two let's go into the reflection two composition select it select both the keyframes actually and then pull this down make sure your time indicator is at the beginning and then I'm going to hold shift and pull this down just like so. So we have the same animation, but the reflection uh, size of the reflection, the place of the reflection is on a different position. As you can see, this is the second one. This is the first one. All right. Now let's create one more composition, which is going to be our main reflection composition. So let's call this main ref. And then I can just drag in the logo edge composition that we created. We don't need to see it. So I can just hide the layer. Now let's drag in the reflection one composition right here. And then on the top, I'm going to drag in the main logo comp just like so. And then change the reflection one track mat to alpha mat. Now, if you don't see the alpha mat option, you can just hit F4 on the keyboard and that should make it happened so now you can see we have this nice reflection but it is not that organic and it doesn't look uh, very realistic so now let's select this layer and i'm going to use an effect called cc glass all right let's go into the surface and now we will use the logo edge composition as our surface so now you can see if i change this to logo edge now you can see we get this really nice detail into our logo now let's increase the softness to around 25% and for the height I'll go with 90% and for the displacement let's actually go with minus 300. Okay so this is looking much better now let's go into the light properties. I'll change the light type from distant light to point light and for the light height I'll go with all the way up to 100. And yeah, everything else looks good to me. Now you can see the reflection is a bit more organic and it has this nice detail into this. Now to make it look much better, what I can do is add one more effect called CC Blobilize. Go into the blobiness, change the blob layer to logo edge. And now you can see we have much more detail into the scene. Let's bring this down to three and we don't need any cutaway. So I'm going to set this to zero. So you can see now we have much more reflection detail into the scene. So this is looking much better. Now let's select the logo comp, hit control D to duplicate it and then bring down the reflection to composition. Let's change this to alpha mat as well. And then on this one, again, I'll use the CC glass. Let's change this to logo edge. Also, we need to change the blending mode of this to screen. Let's change the softness to around 25. For the height, I'll go with 90. Actually, let's change the softness to around 80. Let's bring up the height to around 100. And for the displacement, I'll go with minus 500. Yep, that is looking much better. Let's go into the light properties, change the distant light to point light, bring down the opacity to around 80% and for the light height, I'll make this 100. So now you can see we have much more complex reflection onto our logo, which make things look very nice and organic.
yeah that is looking pretty good so now our reflection composition is ready now let's create a new animation comp And in that, I'm gonna drag in the main logo composition and then the main reflection composition. Then change the blending mode to hard light. And bring down the opacity to around 50%. Let's duplicate it. So hit Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. Change the blending mode of this one to screen and bring down the opacity a bit down, maybe around 40%. You can play around with different number of properties to get the desired look you want. Also for the reflection too, I'll bring down the opacity to around 80% because I think it was too much intense. So yeah, this is looking much better. Let's go back into our main animation com and as you can see now logo is started to look pretty cool so now we have all the assets ready now we can start designing our main composition so firstly let's drag in a background into our main composition i have a background right here so i'm just gonna drag it in hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it and i'll call this bg for background hit ok make it 3d and then what i can do is let's drag in the main animation composition that is this one on the top of the background make it 3d and then select it go into layer layer style and add a drop shadow go into drop shadow properties so i'll change the direction or the angle of the drop shadow to 90 degree increase the distance to around 10 and for the size i'll go with something like maybe 80, 18 percent so now you can see we have this really nice drop shadow giving some nice depth to our complete logo yep so this is looking pretty cool now what i can do is select the animation layer hit ctrl d two times to create three copies select them all hit p to bring down the position properties select this one and set the position of the z position to minus four and this one to minus three okay and then let's take the fourth one and put this on the top so we have zero minus three and minus four now we don't need the drop shadow on the top two layers so i'm going to hide the drop shadow so the shadow is not that intense all right now before we move forward one thing i forgot to do is if i go back into my main reflection and reflection 2 i need to add cc blobilize on this one as well so i'll go and add cc blobilize and let's change the blob layer to logo edge so now we get much more detail into this and i'm going to bring down the softness to zero and the cutaway to zero as well so now we get this nice edges as you can see which looks much better i'll go back into the logo edge may bring down the soft or uh, the simple choker to five and now we have this really nice detail at the edges of our logo so yep that is looking much better let's go into actually let's create a new camera i'm gonna keep it an 80 millimeter camera hit ok let's create a new null object call this cam control and make it 3d and parent the camera to the null object so now we can easily animate the camera so let's hit r to bring down the rotation properties set the x rotation to around 25 degrees oh 25 and the y rotation to 35 degrees so we have something like that for the position i'll just zoom in a bit I mean, let's set this to minus 300 and try to place it into the position that we want so i'll just select the camera really quick zoom in just like so
to get a really nice angle I believe. Okay, just trying to eyeball it and place it into the center. And I think it's looking much better. So now let's select the cam control, hit R to bring down the rotation properties, go at the very beginning. Let's create a keyframe on the X rotation, go to around four seconds and I'll give it a rotation just like that. And also I'll create a keyframe on the position. So create a keyframe, hit U. Go right here and then I can just, you know, try to position it properly. Also turn on the title action save just to be a bit more precise. So now we have a much more interesting camera animation as you can see. Let's also go into camera, hit U two times and actually turn on the depth of field. So I think I'm going to hit A two times. Yep. Turn on the depth of field. Just play around a bit with the focus distance unless your logo is into the focus and increase the aperture really high blur level as well. Play around a bit just like so. Try to just find a good position. So now you can see we get this really nice depth. Also, I'm going to animate the focus distance as well. So I'll place it somewhere around here. Create a keyframe, go to four seconds. And let's increase this just like so. So now if I play this, you can see we have this nice focus shifting look on our logo. And yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. Now you can of course create different kind of camera angles because this is 3D so you can do crazy camera animation as well. But I think this looks pretty good. Now let's really quickly do a simple color correction. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Call this CC, add some sharpen to this first of all. Let's put this a sharpen of around 20% and maybe 20 is a bit too much. I'll go with 10. And then I'll add some curves adjustment. Oh. Okay, so just a touch. This is looking pretty nice. And finally, I'll create a new solid. So hit Control Y to add a vignette. Keep it black. Call this V for vignette. Hit OK. Just select the ellipse tool. Double click. Invert it and feather this up. Nicely. And bring down the opacity according to your liking. And the best part is that you can now go into your logo and you can also use any text if you want to. So let's type in if I want to type in dope. Maybe I'll change the font to something like this one I'll keep it hide the logo it's a bit close and let's go into the main and bam there we have a nice text so all in all this is a very interesting um, animation technique that I think you guys will love it and yeah that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment and like also make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative at present we have a special discount going on my video hive template you can buy any of my professional templates from video hive at a flat discounted price of just 12 dollars this offer will only be available till 15th of november make sure to check out my video hive portfolio mean machine link will be in the description